one of the reasons why I came to Grace was the importance that they placed on biblical education. They looked at the Bible, then they looked at the world's views, and they compared the two. And the admissions team and friends that I've talked to about Grace really gave me a good feeling that Grace was going to care about me and care about giving me the influence that I needed from a Christian college. You walk around campus and you see people praying, you hear people talking about the name of Jesus Christ, and there's a big difference between this campus and other campuses, and that's why I came to Grace University. And that's the reason that I chose to come to Grace. And that's one of the reasons why I came to Grace. Welcome to Grace University, a place where you can not only learn, but grow into the person that God designed you to be. Hey, thanks for taking the time to check us out. Um, excuse me, but I'm kind of doing this video thing here. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. Go ahead. That's no problem. Are you just going to stand there? Is, is that a problem? Or? Well, <laughs> see, the, 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 you, you're more than welcome to, like, sit down and, and watch, but there's really just one person written into the script. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Well, hey, do you mind if I just say something? Just... Uh, we can edit this out, right? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Stop. I just wanted to take a second and say, hey, and you know what? I know where you are. I've been there. You're sitting there, you've got a pile of school videos on one side and catalogs on the other side, and you're looking at them, you're trying to make sense of it all, and you're sitting there and you just are waiting to hear this one voice say to you, hey, go here, you'll be happy here. God wants you to go here. Come here now, you'll love it here. This is where God wants you to go. But most of the time, you just don't hear anything. So, what do you do? Carol? Oh, are you done now? Well, actually, no. Let me ask you a question. I hope you're getting all this, because it's just priceless. <laughs> OK, Carol, thanks for being here today. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. What do you think are some qualities that a school should offer to a student? Well, now, Mark, I'm glad you asked. No, perhaps we can get back on track. Well, see, there are two key elements that we here at Grace want to offer you. One is academic excellence, and the second is an opportunity for life change to occur. Now, if Mark will let me get through this, I want to let you know that Grace University has several values for living that we feel are important enough to pass along to you. Ladies and gentlemen, Carol now presents Values for Living. Carol? Will you stop it? Grace University has several values for living. And here to present them to you are several people from the Grace University family. We value responsibility. Success in life has a lot to do with one's ability to handle independence properly. At Grace, we're committed to providing for our students the opportunity to grow in areas of responsibility by making choices in key areas of their lives. At Grace University, we are excited about our community values. One of the important ones is honesty. When you think of honesty, the word integrity comes to mind. When we look at integrity, we're looking at your wholeness and your completeness as a person. That's what we're about at Grace University. At Grace University, the most important value for living is community. It's the center around which all the other values revolve. God has not created us to live as independent beings separate from one another, but wants us to relate to each other. And when we get to college, when you get to college, it's extremely important that you know how to get along. When we talk about the value appropriateness, what we talk about are those issues that are what we would consider to be black and white issues, issues of Christian liberty, Christian freedom, uh, because unfortunately, there's not a yes, no answer for every issue we face in life from scripture. So we want our students to ask themselves the questions, is this appropriate for this time, for this place, uh, with the people that I'm around? Uh, because as Paul said in Corinthians, everything may be permissible, but not everything is beneficial or constructive. So when we speak of appropriateness, uh, these are the things we're looking at. Another value for living is respect. As student leaders at Grace University, we are committed to helping students respect their peers and those God has put in authority over us. We value accountability. To promote order and personal growth, we hold our students accountable for their choices. Accountability is important in college and in later life. We value restoration. Believe it or not, discipline is an expression of love. If and when we fail, 
We want to treat each other with the same grace, forgiveness, and caring that God treats us with. At Grace University, we value restoration. Community, respect, honesty, appropriateness, responsibility, accountability, and restoration. Way to go, Carol. Hey, Don, tell her what she's won. Oh, Mar, Carol has won a front row seat to one of the cool Christian concerts coming to Grace University all the time. It's true. Grace University plays host to many of the biggest names in Christian music all throughout the year. Artists like Jars of Clay, Steve Green, Supertones, Amy Grant, DC Talk, Brian Duncan, Michael W. Smith, Guardian, God's Problem, Stephen Curtis Chapman, providing a great opportunity for entertainment and ministry, as well as involvement by Grace students doing a variety of activities surrounding the events, from advertising and marketing to coordination and implementation of the day's events. It's a great time for everyone involved. Some of Grace's musical groups have even been involved in several of the concerts as part of the performance. Speaking of musical groups, the Grace Chorale is a semi-formal singing group of about 30 to 40 people. They spend a lot of their time traveling around the states and even have gone to Australia, clear on the other side of the globe. The Ambassadors is another smaller singing group that also spends a lot of time on the road ministering around the country. The Trombone Troubadours is my favorite group. Now, it's not just trombones, it's an all brass ensemble. I used to play trombone. Did you hear the doorbell? <laughs> all brass, all the time. You know, I used to play trombone. Neat. The school also has a drama team. It's called His Hands. And they spend a lot of the time out on the road traveling, spreading the gospel through acting. Also new at Grace U is the community chorus. This gives students the opportunity to interact with people from the community who want to be part of something musically excellent. And then there's the group for people who like their music out of pitch and out of style. But, but that's at that other school you're looking at. Grace University also have opportunities for Grace students to travel and study abroad, interacting with the culture in places like Mali and the Philippines, stepping beyond the traditional classroom to learn firsthand on the mission field. And now, a word from our president. Grace University exists to build leaders for the home, for the church, and for the world. These are the institutions that are important to God and they're important to us. How do we build leaders? By stressing two core values. First is the core value of academic excellence. We believe that God is a God of excellence, and he insists on doing the best in all that we pursue. In our classrooms, in our curriculum, in every dimension of Grace University, we stand for academic excellence. But core value number two is the unique and distinctive element of Grace University. It's the core value of life change. Through our chapel programs, through our discipleship groups, through the Word of God being proclaimed in the classroom as it's integrated through all the disciplines of human knowledge, we believe that the lives of our students will change. They will be eternally impacted by the truths that they're exposed to at Grace University. Why should you choose Grace University? because it stands for the two core values of academic excellence and life change. Hey, Carol, what's, what's the score? What's the score? Yeah, what's the score? The score of what? Well, it says here that I'm supposed to talk about sports now, and uh, I thought that'd be a good place to start by asking what the score is. Because isn't that what everyone always wants to know? Sports at Grace University have really taken off in the past few years. There are many opportunities for you to get involved in sports while you're here. For the guys, we've got a great soccer team that you can be a part of if you like kicking and maneuvering on the grass field. Or if you prefer dribbling and the scuffling of tennis shoes on the floorboards of the court, you may want to be a part of the Grace men's or women's basketball team. We also have a women's volleyball team if words like set and spike are a normal part of your vocabulary. We're also very excited about our huge computer center here at Grace University. Lots of opportunities to get online, research over the World Wide Web, or type a research paper on one of our first class computers. Grace is also making some classes available over the internet. So you could be in Tanzania, hooked up to the web, and take a class on Bible back at Grace? That's right. Wow. Uh, hey, Carol? Huh? 
A Mac or PC? What? Do you drive a Mac or a PC? I drive a Volkswagen. Another big part of the school is our communications department. KGBI FM in Omaha was chosen as radio station of the year in 1997 by the National Religious Broadcasters. We also run KROA in Grand Island, Nebraska. These are both 100,000 watt stations broadcasting 24 hours of Christian radio all over the heartland. Another important part of your experience at Grace is called servant leadership training. Every student that attends Grace University becomes involved with some sort of church or parachurch ministry off campus. This time of service to the community is truly an integral part of every student's experience. Hello, I'm Greg Kane. I'm Director of Servant Leadership Training here at Grace University. Servant Leadership Training, you're probably wondering what in the world is that? Well, it's patterned after the words of our Lord. For he said that the Son of Man has come not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. That's the kind of mindset, that's the kind of student, the kind of person we want to have here at Grace. Someone who's willing to have that servant's attitude. And in having that servant's attitude, you'll find that people are drawn to you, and they will follow you, and that's how you become a leader. We want you to be a servant leader so that you will take the things that you learn in the classroom and apply it in ministry, in real life situations. And in this way, we're fulfilling God's commission to us, and that is to serve God and to serve others. So we take the excellence that is given to you in the classroom in our instruction, and we apply it to excellence in ministry. Or to put it another way, we want you to get off your seat, onto your feet, and out into the street. Because this is where you serve. Serve God and serve others and become the servant leader. Grace University is thrilled to be a partner in ministry with Dawson McAllister Youth Conferences. Dawson brings his two-hour teen call-in show every Sunday night to hundreds of radio stations across the country. Hey, Carol. Yeah? <laughs> have you actually heard of that program before? Well, yeah, actually I have. It's pretty good, isn't it? Uh-huh. I, I like how he takes all these people with problems and really helps them by focusing on the truth of God. Focusing on the truth of God. <laughs> Sounds a lot like how we teach our students here at Grace. It sure does, Carol. Dawson? I am excited about any college that adds a Bible major with another major in order to get out of the college. I don't think there's anything more important than for young uh, 19 through 25 year olds, say, to really learn how to study the Word, grasp the Word, and have a foundation for the Word. And you know, that's why schools like Grace mean so much to me, because they have not ventured away from that. Yes, we're a university, but also we are going to make sure that you get biblical training. God's got to honor that. There are a lot of exciting things going on at Grace University. One of our most unique aspects is the fact that you will have a double major. Your first is in biblical studies, and then the second is in the career path of your choice. In addition to this, with tons of work being done on the campus, with remodeling and renovations, Grace is one of the premier Christian universities in the country, truly a leader in higher education all the way into the 21st century. Now, while Grace is a university, its size is small. I mean, the professors are here to teach, not just to do research and just teach on the side. It's definitely a place where you can come and jump in and get involved with what's going on. And learn to be a part of the world in which you live. So thanks for hanging out with us for a few minutes. We'd love to have you come visit us for a couple days. Stay with us, check out the campus, free of charge, no charge. Zip bullet, zero dollars. Come, come visit us, no charge. Free. You're welcome anytime.